Hello Marvel Strike Force fans, so today is Black Bolt Day. I just did a massive orb opening and I got four red stars for Black Bolt. So let's see what I do here. I am at tier five already. Last time I managed to get up to tier four, but I was just short on Hella, unfortunately. And the game just likes to do that. So here are the Asgardians. I got really good Asgardian teams. So I can just auto this probably. Like they're all tier 13 or tier 12. They got T4 abilities, so I'm not too worried about it. Leveling up Black Bolt, that's what I'm worried about. So let's see how we do here. And any noise you guys hear in the background is just my puppies playing with each other, so. Yeah, they like to, yep, they're running back and forth, I can hear them. Here we are, just destroying everything, they are not even touching me. <laughs> nice try, Ghost Rider. Doing great. Eight over to fourteen. Hand sentry is the only kind of annoying guy there. Yep, now we gotta kill him. Doctor Strange. Yeah, we're doing great. Everyone's still pretty high health. Also, I'm kind of surprised my team didn't like destroy these guys a little bit quicker. All right, so that is enough actually to recruit Black Bolt, but we got one more to do. Let's do it one more time. So, Black Bolt was actually first introduced back in 1965 with the other Inhumans actually in Fantastic Four number 45. He actually has a few pretty cool things about him. His, uh, so with his Terrigan mutated physique surpasses that of the normal superhuman physique of a typical inhuman. So basically it's even, because you know inhumans are basically stronger than regular humans, so uh, he's actually even basically considered like super powered compared to a regular inhuman. And if you're actually wondering, those little fork-like antenna things on his head actually help him control his power. He can focus, he can like basically channel his power inward to increase his strength, speed, and can focus it through the uh, focusing tool on his arms as concussive blasts. He's also partially resistant to tel telepathy and shares a semi-telepathic bond with those in his bloodline, such as the royal family. He is capable of flight and yeah, his main superpower that kind of like overshadows everything is his booming voice.
speed. Yes, here we go. Going to be a six star black bolt. I was really hoping that with my red star op master red star opening, it would have given me some stuff, but unfortunately, it did not. So. Victory, another 200 tokens, 500 gold. I can now unlock Black Bolts. I am going to try to power him up as much as I can, and we will see how things go from there. Four red, one yellow there, and we got one more. So he is up to six star on the first go around. Alright, so I will see how things do. Hopefully some offers opened up for me. Nope, no offers opened up for his unlock. Awesome. Usually when they have a legendary event, they uh, throw out some offers. So I'm going to see what I can do with my limited resources on what, getting him up. I will be back and see you soon. Alright guys, so this is what I was able to do for Black Bolt. I got him up to level 60, I got him up to gear 11, and I got his abilities up to 6, 6, 6, 4. So that got him up to 45,561 power. Now I did spend quite a bit of money on this actually, because it did actually pop open a few uh, offers for me. Let's take a look at his abilities. So primary target has slow, flip one negative effect on self. Attack primary target for 350% damage plus clear one positive effect. That's pretty nice. When you T4 in it, clears two positive effects. So that actually would make a nice little useful ability to T4. His special attack primary target for 500 damage. This attack is unavoidable. And you can put, ooh, has another 100% damage to it. His ultimate. Attack all enemies for a huge massive amount of damage, and you can put more into it to make it even more powerful. This is probably where he shines. Characters killed by Black Bolt cannot be revived. That is why he is so good against Ultron. When an enemy drops below 25% health, attack that enemy for 150 damage. If that enemy is a villain tech, attack that enemy for 300 damage instead. That is where, because uh, Ultron is the uh, villain tech. And enemy summon, apply disrupted, plus clear three positive effects on the summoner. That's very nice. Gain 40% resistance. Inhumans allies, gain 40% resistance. Gain 30% max thing. So yeah, this would actually be a really good thing to uh, T4 also. So let's see how things go. Let's go try them out in a blitz and see where we go. So here he is. I actually have been working on my uh, Inhumans team a little bit. So they're not all like, you know, 10,000 each. Like uh, Yo Yo's tier 11, tier 11. Darn, she's really, really close to tier 11 and then tier 9 for uh, gear wise. Alright, so let's see what happens. I will do it again at a level 5 and then again at level 8 hopefully for uh, Blitz. Alright, let's see what happens here. Should be pretty much a cakewalk right here. I think it's kind of cool what this guy does when his uh, with his graphics. Yeah, I wish we had more save squads because I actually had to delete my uh, really horrible hand team to save this guy, this squad in. All right, there we go. So, great win. I will be back at uh, tier 5, and then we will do a tier 8 later on. All right, my friends, I am back. I got up to tier 5. 
So we got a Guardians team here without Star-Lord. We got ourselves a random team with a whole bunch of tanks. Well, actually, that's a lot of tanks. And then we got ourselves a standard Defenders team. You know what? I think I'll actually try the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Got a little puppy here with me right now that wants to interrupt the podcast. Yeah, puppy. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I love you. Okay, you're cute. Ooh, that was fun. Alrighty, so let's see how things go here. So far, it seems like. Uh oh, what's the puppy doing? Hopefully, nothing bad. Oh, she's just going for the toilet paper. That's all right. <laughs> all right, so they basically destroyed the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy team. So that, that's all right. By the way, the new puppy's name is Amy. Oh no, she's on my bed. Hope she doesn't do anything bad like pee on it. I don't know why that's what dogs like to do. And there she goes up the stairs again. Alright, so I'll bring us back when I get to uh, tier 8 and we'll see how they do against tier 8. Alright, be right back guys. Alright guys, I made up to 8 tier in the Blitz. So we got an Asgardian team, we got a Power Armor team, and we got, ooh, an Ultron here. Wow, let's try him out with the Ultron. And you know what? We just started a new raid. It's an Ultimus 6 raid. I think I'll just, for the heck of it, see how they do in an Ultimus 6 raid also. The first note, at least. All right, here we go. This is basically a team of nothing but summoners. Loki, Ronan. Let's get rid of the actual Loki there. Alright, so they did really well against uh, the very beginning of a Tier A challenge. Quite happy with it. And just for the heck of it, let's do a raid and see how they do in the raid. Join the battle. I'm sure it'll pretty much decimate this also. Mainly because Yo-Yo and Black Bolt are actually using Ultima 7 now with a lot of the meta teams. Yeah, didn't even... Laughably easy. 
Alright guys, so if you thought this video was helpful, please hit the subscribe button on the left, leave a like below, maybe a comment if you like, and check out one of the newer videos on the right. Have yourself a good day, a good night, and a good morning. Peace.